black man hurt the black woman. To say when you love one another, black people, you have to love each other through 500 years of broken promises, of pain and oppression. It's not just about black people being in love, it's the most revolutionary thing one can do. Black love, revolutionary, black love, I keep blaming my story, my love for my actions, I'm sorry, my love, I know you got love for me, black love. Somebody more than you love yourself Has somebody ever loved you more than they love themselves Put up with all your issues at the expense of themselves When everybody this you, they still seeing you the best When the world puts you to the test And you end up a lot of stress Struggling with yourself And the only one to help Is the same person that hurts The same person that's worth The same blessing you search From everybody else you don't really doubt it, but you think you feel the urge to prove that you got it, getting caught up in the worst Control you think you bought it, never had it in the first Controlling how you hide it, going deeper in the dirt And the lies multiply themselves, and you wind up in the web Struggling with yourself, and the only one to help is the same Hello and welcome to Banjo Night Live, coming to you straight from the smiling coast, the New Gambia. Right here at the Place in Cafe, I am your host, Aphrodisi Jai. And I'm your girl, Maria Mokasama. What's up, guys? It's been a while. It's been a long, long while. All right. Life's been good to you. Yes, yes. Life's <laughs> been great to Gambia, actually. Yeah. Really yeah. So I'm going to take this chance to wish all my fellow Gambians all over the world Happy New Gambia. Happy New Gambia. <laughs> you know, it's, it feels really good to say it. Like, I wouldn't lie, it feels really good. Um, that clip we just came from watching was from My Man's Omer Wisdom, and the mm -hmm. song was called Black Love. Um, it was an amazing video. Very interesting song. Very interesting mm -hmm. song. Great message, too. Yep, yep, amazing message. Omer, keep doing what you're doing, because, you know, you are educating the youths out there through right. entertainment. What do you call it? Edutainment. 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 You keep that up. <laughs> Uh, right now, we're going to we're gonna go check out uh, an up close with Yasin's kitchen, mm -hmm. Auntie Yasin Jalo, mm -hmm. and we visited her visited her at her house, and then we talked to her. You know, let's see what she has to say. Was there food? Oh, you know, you bet. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Okay. This is 
my backyard and that's my little Yasin, middle Yasin, that's middle Yasin the girl that lives with me here. She helps me a lot, all the cooking here. Yeah. And this is the outside kitchen, so we're gonna show you what we're gonna cook today. She's starting with the with cooking um, the fish ball for two with bread. This can for me, moist and And then she has for every So this is it. Then later. As you can see, I have to change because I'm in the kitchen now. But you never know where this could go, so you should give just a little try. But I guess you're too shy, so you can just give the eye while I serve you. The meat, the fish ball is done, so it's been popped in bowls. All oh, done. I you you to do for Gale, for mom is something that I came up with before the we want to make uh, in America. So small uh, the sauté that I was doing, that I did all this while was, if I want to time it, it's like an hour, hour, 30 minutes, basically. Let me try it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put flavor, because that's how much you And welcome back. This is still BML, and I am so honored and so excited about my um, guest today. It's no other but Yasin Jalo of Yasin's Kitchen. So, Auntie Yasin Jalo, welcome to Brand New Mind Live. Thank you, Afro. I'm so glad to be here. Well, the pleasure is all mine, believe me. So, um, if you're on Facebook and you've been following Banjo Night Live and been following everything that we're doing, you would know that Yasin's Kitchen is the hottest thing on the net right now. Auntie Yasin Jalo is a very good cook, amazing cook, let me tell you, amazing. And he, uh, she decided to uh, take her talent out and show people how to cook Gambian, African, European food, like from breakfast to dinner to lunch, everything, desserts, juices, it's all in this lovely book right here called Yasin's Kitchen. You can get your book, if you're in the Gambia, you can get your book at the Plaza Inn Cafe. Yeah, if you're not in Gambia, you can check online Yasin's Kitchen. It's online everywhere. You can check on uh, www.bandomatlife.com and you'll have all the information you need. But now let's just hear from the host's mouth. Auntie Yasin, how did all of this come about? Well, um, with the book, it started like uh, probably 2012, where I was just writing, cooking, writing, and putting it in a manuscript. Because what happened was I was trying to see how I can advertise my cooking and my book. And um, it was taking a while. I have a son who does this, but whenever I send this, it, it kind of takes time. 
So I just woke up and say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go on Facebook and advertise for myself. You and know, you did a great job. You had that, right? Well, I don't know what a great job is the right word, but I tried with the help of my granddaughter, who was my photographer and my... So that was not a professional oh, no. photographer no. or no. videographer over there? No. That was your granddaughter. My granddaughter, who is like 11, wow. Jaina Bajo. She wow, was the one... Uh, we need to hear. <laughs> my, my life means it. And she was using a professional camera, though. And sometimes she'll tell me how to maneuver the camera, and I'm like, okay, Jainaba. Yes, it's their generation, technology. Yeah. Generation. Actually, Abdul helped him, helped her, but after, after a while, she kind of was doing it better than yeah. Abdul. <laughs> because, you know, these young ones, they don't have patience. But so anyway. Where do you get your passion for cooking? I mean, um, if I remember right, I started cooking when I was very young. And um, cooking was something like a refuge for me because I lost my parents when I was like 10 and 12, if I remember. And when I'm mad, I go cook. When I'm happy, I go cook. So I used to, let me see, like 10, 10 or 8, used to cook like fish cake, selling it, really? just yeah, to buy my daily needs. and. Um, it was something that was very passionate for me and very touching. And I mean, I can say nobody taught me how to cook. I used to do something like when people go to market and come back to start cooking, I would just take a little bit and pieces from here and there and use like the empty tomato cans and cook on the side. And eventually everybody loved to eat what I cook. That's where it started. And and I can remember when I was like 15, when we have this christening, they used to lock me next door for me to cook this big, no like, way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. And then they will tell people, they, they will not tell the, um, the, the guests that I am the one who cooked it. They just say, oh, we cater for it. Well, now the whole world knows <laughs> that you're the one that cooks it, right? All right, Auntie Yasin, um, let's move from cooking. I know you're very passionate about a whole lot of things. You are a humanitarian, and you're also a philanthropist. So I want to know um, what what are the what are the works you've been working on recently? I'm a nurse by profession, and I love to help people because my grandmother basically raised me up. So I really love to help elderly. And I work with them. I work with um, the special need kids for the past, uh, I think, 15 years. I've been doing that. And I enjoy it because those people, whatever you do for them, you know, it's, it's a reward from the Almighty. And where is it that actually you're a nurse? Um, I started as a CNA when I was in, um, when I was in uh, um, America. And then I moved in 2007 to Canada. And that's where I upgraded to LPN because I did like I did um, they upgraded to that because I do tube feeding in and out catheterizing and um, some other stuff that I do and I work on the site at the nursing home too. All right, that's interesting. So when you came back to Gambia with with all that experience, um, you came at a very very critical time, I might say, to the Gambia when unfortunately we had refugees from the Gambia running to Senegal. And as you saw, we posted on BNL on our page, um, you going out there helping um, the refugees who didn't have anything to eat at that point or no water to drink or no place to stay uh, because of the... Uh, um, the unrest. Problems, yeah, because of the problems that were happening here in the Gambia. How did all of that come about? Well, I actually, I did not come here for that. It just happened to be that I was here and it happened. So I wanted to help. So I didn't know how to go about to help because it was really unsafe. So what I first did, I went to Red Cross and I offered my hand to help them. And then I talked to these two ladies who are very, very, they are humanitarian, um, what they call it, they work tirelessly for, to change the Gambia. You say it now. It's no, no, it's not that I don't want to say it. <laughs> like Nde Jobate, she's on my book. I, she's one lady who are really, really 
adore because she's smart, she's very intelligent. And another lady called Nene, Nene Lulan Khan, they're the one who kind of, they organize a group called the Humanitarian Crisis. So when I said, I, I wanted to donate them, and they were like, Auntie Asin, why can't you just join the group? I said, well, what can I do? They said, well, you can just join the group and see what we can do. Then a day after, I went out to buy bread. And unfortunately, that day, there was no way to find bread. And I'm like, my, the girl that I live with said to me, she's been all over Carnifin and there was nothing. And I'm like, okay, let, I took the car and I, that day, um, Yai Jame was still here. So I just... Was this uh, before the 19th or after the 19th? Before the 19th. Before the 19th, yeah. Definitely before the 19th. It was around the 16th, 17th, around that. I think it was the time that she declare a state of emergency. Yeah, that was around the 15th. Yeah, that, that was the time when, when she declared that and nothing, nowhere. So me and my girl went out and she was like, Auntie Asin, let's go back, it's not safe. I'm like, well, whatever happened, happened. I have to help people. So I started doing that and I went to buy bread. Fortunately for me, I saw somebody who already bought bread to go sell it and they were selling it for $8. I'm like, how many? And I bought it and went to another store and bought everything they have. And that's where, where I started, giving it to people who really, and it was very, very, very sad. People who cannot even, those people, their daily living is to sell and eat. And they didn't have anything because I was in there. And honestly, it's really, it hit hard when I think about that. Well, BNL went with you um, on our BNL Gives Back, which we do every month. Um, and uh, it's coming right after this interview. So if you want to see Eagle Town, Talendin, and all those places that he has in the stop and about, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Yes, so humanitarian, <laughs> chef, um, what else? Amazing. I'm a huge fan. Wow. All that? and more <laughs> well thank you very much Afro. i really appreciate all that and i know that you're a fan because you love my cooking, love cooking. but it's all good i t i hope it tastes the you way you exactly have taste and, tea, yes. and just for the viewers out there watching i know you're like huh she kind of resembles somebody i mean oh Yes, that's more Black's mother, okay? <laughs> yes. And um, Auntie Yasin, uh, can you quickly just tell um, the viewers if they wanted to get the book, uh, where to go to online to get it? Yes, you can go to www.yasinskitchen.com <laughs> or Yasin's Kitchen's app or so Amazon. Yeah. Okay. When you download it on your phone, you can easily get you it. You can easily get the book. And uh, Amazon.com and Create Space. Okay. It's a lot of sp uh, places. And in the UK, you can buy it with um, through my nephew there, Cabra Bell, George Bell, in Sweden, in uh, Norway, and in Atlanta. Wow, are you global already? Well, we have to. We have to. This, this is not just for the money. No. Because I am doing this and I, everything I make from this book, not everything, but I will, I'm trying to help the young ones here that I can help. Because I know I cannot help the whole Gambia, but the ones that I can help, I will. Because I put my life on that. All right. And if you're here in the Gambia, you can get your book, Yes in Kitchen, right here at Casa in Cafe. Or you can call Mo Black and... He will hook you up with a book. Auntie Yasin, thank you so very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and sit here and talk to us. My pleasure. So when am I going to come for lunch? Anytime. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Bye. And one more thing, the, uh, the volume two is coming up. It's wow. almost done. Um, probably when I go back, I'll walk on it, finish it. And I can't wait for that one. Yeah, that, that's wait. even better than this. I
ربي شهدي صدري ويسدي أمني وهذا الأقد النساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والصلاة أرى وصوله ولا آله وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Awa and I'm doing a show called Dawa Talk with Awa Dawa Talk with Awa is inshallah non-judgmental non-biased show about my experiences as a Muslim and how Islam and faith help me grow. Guys, we're out here in Ibo town and we're donating some bread. The Essence Kitchen and BNL gives back, um, collaborating and giving out bread here in a neighborhood in Ibo town. As you can see, everybody, there's enough for everyone. The lady um, that gave us this money, Nde Our Charm, she donated. So BNL gives back and the Essence Kitchen would like to thank Nde Our Charm for donating money to uh, buy this bread. And right now, like I said, we're in this neighborhood in Ibo town, donating bread to the people of the neighborhood. And stay with us because a little later we'll, we'll go out and give out some rice and some oil to another neighborhood. So just stay with us right here on Banjo Night Lab Gives Back. And uh, we have Mohammed Haidar here. We, we already wrapped up, but he wanted to say something. So here we go. Mohammed, what do you have to say? Alhamdulillah. Alena so Senegal and Gambia it's like we are together. I mean a bit you know for another now for not all of you know for no fellow and jail and my ball and jail in the academy so be in the condom who bad for now I'll tell my dad another father for the region come on in the car funding kill no more mini be able to do the way I did so you know a farmer tell enough so, 
and our mobile fitting a do work. All right, guys, well, this is a wrap. We just finished giving out in a neighborhood in Ibo Town. It was definitely, a, we had a great time, as you can see from the footage. We had some great time with the kids, and then we enjoyed giving because anything humanitarian is enjoyable, and then you can contribute too. You can get on our Banjo Night Live Gives on page, um, check Banjo, no, you can go on our Banjo Night Live page, check on Banjo Night Live Gives Back, and you can click on Donate to be a part of it, or you can contact Yasin's Kitchen, and Yasin on Yasin's Kitchen on 343 1463. You can also check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Banjo Night Live. Any kind of contribution is appreciated. As you can see, we can change people's lives, we can change people's day, we can bring, bring a smile on somebody's face, and lol, that's a fake call. So be, um, join us, and um, hopefully, we'll see you again soon. And don't forget to donate, donate, donate. Thank you. collaborating with Yasin's Kitchen and we're here today in church in Ibo town donating to four different families bags of rice and gallons of oil and this kind donation was facilitated by a gentleman called Kemo Sise in Sweden and it was a very kind gesture and you can do the same too by um, by going on our page at Banjo Night Live or go on our Facebook page and check uh, BNL Gives Back page and just click on donate so let's go in here and see what we got for them. It's not that easy to place your fears aside, especially when Kemo Sise mo donate from Sweden to ni la yinda ay sa ko malo ko nyo jo len ko ko nun len dimbale so ni ni am yasin speaking mo len ko jo in collaboration with Banjo Nightlife wow Banjo Nightlife dang en ko de se tan tan so ni ni o ni li jo len ko jere jen jef ko am ni prefer na tarob na ko ni mo jo se malo mo dun la ali em ye so Yasin's Kitchen, more new fee in collaboration with BNL. So we like to so hard to get donate, we like more injury. Injury, injury. I'm for yeah, I'm left family for four but I'm going to be a My son was a Dimbaya Bambul. Near the Nada Mumbe, Nakoto. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You're not a lot of people. I'm going to go to the door. I'm going to go to the door. I'm going to go to Mm-hmm. <laughs> Inshallah. 
We're back here. We were directed to um, a compound where there's a lot of returnees who took some time to who ran away to seek refuge in neighboring countries because they were afraid of their lives and that of their families. So here we are to give back to them and help them to support them. And yeah, we're down at the floor and floor. Nah, for now, Santiago. Santiago, the man of Baro. The guru of Gui. The man of the guru. We said that the bar can't help. The man of Koyal. The man of the Koyal. The man of the Koyal. The man of the Koyal. Dimbalin has can we? Wow, you know, yalla maiko katal lumbe luke reo me reo gambe bi. You know, yalla maiko luke ko bumbre fat. Lepo lumbe fat yaka yaka. You know, ko yalla maiko mudagal ko. But kasi rin ako. And that's a wrap. We're right here in Ibo town, like I said earlier, and we just finished giving back to four families, bags of rice and some oil, cooking oil and some money in collaboration with Yasin Kitchen. And she has a little bit to say, Auntie Yasin. Well, all I have to say is just thanking the donors because uh, one of them is called Kemo Sise from Sweden. And uh, he gave us like 6,800. And that's what we use to buy um, these uh, four bags of rice and uh, some oil and some cash we give it to them and um, so that's what it is we are just appealing to everybody who's watching this video to see to dip in their pockets and try to donate because you see these people they really really need it we gambians we can do this gambians helping gambians and that's what i believe in and i am pleading to all the gambians to help because you can see this this is first hand the government can do all this so we have to go and do some work and help our, help our people ourselves and i believe if we do it we can see success in, in them this little case you saw uh, you heard what the woman said it was very touching so that's why i stepped away because i couldn't i understand Mandingo. i just have to step away because she was saying that she doesn't have food sometimes she go and people give them give us some food which is very sad anyway so like i said this is it that's the wrap for today and thank you for watching and you have a blessed day and you heard that from Auntie Yasin of Yasin's Kitchen. And uh, like we said, it's always good to give. We always feel good about giving. So if you want to do your part um, and contribute to Banjo Nightlife Gives Back, all you have to do is go on our Facebook page and click on Banjo Nightlife Gives Back and click on the donate button or reach out to us and or Auntie Yasin on 343-1463. And we are on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Banjo Nightlife. Until we meet again, have a good time. Good night. Plaster Inn Cafe, located in Brucey your number one spot for hot wings in the Gambia. Delivery is free for 500 and above orders in Brucey Plaster Inn Cafe, located in Brucey right next to GT Bank. Call 306-1077 or visit our website, plasterinc.com. Well, welcome back everybody. We just saw this amazing chick right here interview another amazing phenomenal woman, uh, Auntie Yasin Jala from Yasin's Kitchen. And that was 
so inspirational because everything she's doing literally from her cooking from her humanitarian efforts and everything it's to give back to the people and it's a beautiful thing also i'm pretty sure you guys have seen um bnl gives back where i i went with the team and antia sindialo again to Igbo town and then we uh, visited three families actually we visited one family and another lady and her kids and then we were fortunate enough to find a, fa a whole household that actually had to take refuge in Senegal. Oh. They, had, they were re returning refugees from Senegal and then we were privileged and honored to be able to, you know, do a little bit that we can and, you know, give like it to them. Always do yes. back. And always remember, if you want to be a part of being a gift back, it's simple. Just get on the Bajanada Gives Back Bajanada page and click on Bajanada Gives Back and click on Donate or just um, call on the numbers or just reach out to us and send, send us a message and we'll, we'll definitely reach out. And thank you for ev to everyone that has um, supported us since the start and keep giving. It feels good to give. Feels great. It feels good to give. So try it. Well, without going any further, you know, we have to give due mm -hmm. to our sponsors. Yep. Saying thank you very much to Tap Gambia Homes uh, for sponsoring Banjo Mac Live. Uh, Global Properties, uh, thank you very much for sponsoring. Not forgetting Plaster Ape Cafe. Come get your wing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been there from day one. And obviously, we've been outfitted by the amazing Midun once more so thank you very much just reminding everybody that he was star fit now he has revamped his brand to Medun. so this can this i can i say one thing about Medun? go ahead <laughs> his outfits are so good and the the finishing is so good it makes you want to flip the yere over and just wear it wear inside it. out because it mean. looks that great <laughs> even on the inside so Medun, keep that up and get yourself hooked up this is amazing amazing yep uh, right now, we're going to go take a short break, and when we come back, we have more of Bank of Night Live. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, is that Oh, my god. 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 Bien sûr, on a atelier, man, faire un montage, Voilà, Voilà, mon Papi, Admusa, je suis un peu de mieux. Je suis un peu de mieux. Je suis un peu de Je suis un peu de mieux. 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 Je suis un peu de Voilà Axel, voilà, fais moi ça ma ça ma ça ma atelier on va dire. Donc voilà, fais la fais la ligue, fais la défaire son, fais la défaire tamis ça mes montages vidéo. Accueil yep. Donc euh, voilà, comme vous voyez, euh, 
comme nous avons dit, c'est là. Voilà, voilà, une vidéo pour baisse, pour tout doux. Euh, get down on it. Get down on voilà, je suis avec Mr. Papino à Kyoye. Donc voilà quoi. Je suis avec Mr. Papino à C'est vrai que je suis tourné après. C'est vrai que je suis en train de mais j'aime bien des vidéos. Le dernier du mois, Adjusa d'ailleurs, je retourne les vidéos. Quand Maro est artiste, il y a un même temps directeur de vidéo. Il y a un même temps 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 de vidéo. Il y a c'est juste une question d'utilisation, non qu'on utilise. Je ne sais pas si je suis un mais j'essaie de trouver des mélodies qui collent à. Voilà, je suis un peu Bon, c'est le bordel, hein, parce que c'est vrai que tu as eu une petite vidéo, donc du coup, c'est un peu. Oh, so donc, tu es live, tu es live. Wow, mais je suis installé comme ça, en fait. Je suis un peu poussière, non okay. <rire> Donc oui, voilà, oui. mais c'est vrai que pour le moment, prise de voix là, à Dieu, yep. mais euh, Maï installé justement pour me euh, faire euh, live, parce que le moment m'a intéressé à l'incendie, je me faire une prise live, pour que je prenne le groupe yep, en même temps. Donc je me faire aménager avec une pièce, comme ça tu mets la batterie, tu fais un chanteur, tu fais un keyboard, tu fais un voilà exactement, c'est ce que je veux faire. Inch'Allah, il y a des gens. Amin, oui. Amin, 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 Amin. Oui, c'est ce que tu veux dire. Oui, c'est ce que je veux dire. Oui, c'est ce que je veux dire. C'est ce que je veux dire. Tu m'as dit que tu m'as dit que tu m'as dit. Bon, il y a des bordels qui sont venus, je ne sais pas. Il y a des bordels qui sont venus. Wow, wow. Excellent. Donc, le gars est là. Comme vous voyez, c'est une salle de jeu pour boire. Ça va dormir. 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 Pour Noël. Donc voilà, fils une pièce de jeu le. Donc au salon fait, c'est une nec fille. Si c'est mon nec, mais c'est le bordel là. Fille, c'est le bordel. Hein? Ok, moi, 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 le bordel. Ah bah, qu'est-ce que? Ah non, la nec. Voilà, faut fou moi, mon fils le qui nec. Wanyu, wanyu, digen fille. Wanyu, 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 wanyu. Ah, j'aime bien quand c'est ouvert, Niva. Voilà, excellent, excellent. Hop, excellent. Donc, c'est une pièce pour Noël. Donc voilà, fille terrasse B. Commencez comme on a donné le mari. Tu as commencé comme tu as donné le mari. Mais moi, je commence à installer quoi. Je vais commencer à installer pour que je puisse faire des tout ceci. Non, pour le moment, c'est ça. Non, c'est ça. 
All right, uh, we just took a tour of Maui Sidiba's house, and we're right now on top of his terrace. Mm. So we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to have a wonderful interview with him and know more about him. All right, don't go anywhere. <laughs> on Mao Sidivich Paris and we're about to have the bomb interview with him. Well man in the news to some Moku Gambia Hamani Musmove I'm going to go to the occasion of the house. I'm going to go to 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 the house. I'm Wow, moi aussi, je suis déjà à la base, c'est vrai que Phil a commencé, on, avec euh, mon groupe à l'ancienne, euh, BBC de tout bon. Et le fait qu'il a commencé, après il a commencé à rap, euh, comme Gaïe, après il a tout qu'il a fait France pour euh, enregistrer l'album, de le suivre, après il a encore trop fort. Donc Phil, c'est vrai que je suis venu à petit euh, groupe Bobo, moi Teresa, je suis venu à Ah, Teresa, viens Bongo, ma, viens Bongo. Bon, je suis venu à Guinée, ça fait 12 ans, après on a fait d'autres projets, tu dis Gunter, tu dis Akio Yep. Petit à petit, mon groupe, ça s'est un peu effrité, c'est pas parce que je suis venu à Guinée, mais je suis venu à Guinée, à faire, voilà. Et euh, voilà, moi j'avais vraiment envie de continuer la musique, donc du coup je suis parti en solo. Mais c'est vrai que j'ai eu du reggae, j'ai eu électro, j'ai eu rock, punk. Légulaire. Je me sens direct. Je me sens direct. Je me sens direct. Non, bon, je suis éthique quand même parce que je maîtrise ce que je préfère pas rentrer dedans comme Balak. J'ai rien contre le Balak. Non, je ne peux pas. Non, pour moi, pour moi, je ne peux pas. Mais je ne peux pas avoir des codes. Je ne maîtrise pas ce que je Donc je préfère. Je ne peux pas mélanger les codes. Donc je ne peux pas avoir des codes. Donc du coup, je ne peux pas avoir des codes. Il y a des compositeurs qui ont des codes. Mais moi, je ne maîtrise pas ce milieu-là. Non, je ne sais pas. 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 Ah, un instrument-là. Oui, c'est un instrument-là. Mais c'est un instrument-là. Mais c'est un instrument-là. Oui, mais les Nigériens, Wow. Ah. Mais vous avez dit que 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 que vous avez que vous avez que Là, à mon Dès que les gens ont tourné une vidéo, ils m'ont dit que les artistes ont tourné une vidéo. Je m'en souviens pas. Mais en même temps, je suis technicien son. Live. Live. Ok, tu es un live technicien et tu es aussi un vidéo maître. Tu fais des vidéos, tu fais des directeurs. Et il est aussi un artiste. Wow, mashallah. Bah, c'est un peu plus Parce que pour moi, les gens qui ont dit que tu es c'est important de maîtriser les aspects. C'est-à-dire que même moi, si je suis filmé, mm -hmm. ou voilà, voilà, en tant qu'artiste, c'est important que je me qui qui fait des vidéos, mon ce qui fait peut-être. C'est ce que je veux dire. Nous voulons savoir dans 5 ans, qu'est-ce que tu as vu dans ce qui fait des vidéos Je veux faire des groupes punk. Punk Comme punk musique, il n'était pas punk. 
<rire> non, Raoma, parce qu'en en fait, euh, j'ai plein d'idées en tête. Et euh, man pour man, c'est pas juste euh, man en tant qu'artiste, mais on est un bop. Voilà, je suis un artiste comme euh, Kinga Dis euh, euh, Papino. On a peut-être, euh, moi qui m'a défendu le morceau Get Down, on a peut-être d'autres projets. Et puis on a un projet électro, qui est un compositeur, qui a fait un bol pour faire des sons. Je, je suis plus dans des trucs de projet que des albums ou bop. Je suis un solo, donc je suis un temps que je peux développer et que je peux le découvrir. Mais entre temps, je veux faire des projets avec des artistes qui me sentent bien, voilà, voilà, je sais, euh, en tout cas, euh, amener une bonne feeling ensemble avec eux, quoi. Pourquoi pas Et puis, euh, quel chamou là Je vais faire non, non, non. Je suis content de vous parler. Vous savez, 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 c'est un désordre 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 c'est vrai que je suis très bordélique parce que je réfléchir je technique et j'ai besoin de ça affaire yumay soxla yeb sama wet donc du coup lolou moy andi mo am bobu la façon ñinga xamné ku ñew rek nak ci xolofi ni mel xama defa ro ko ko surprise ko bo ñew rek da ngay mer parce que do xamati fu dara nek non mais des fois des fois da may ñew bo déplacer ben affaire dama koy set ba son lolou daf may merlo parce que en fait da ngay fok né rendre nga ma service mais en fait da nga sonal mais mais il faut juste que ma am il faut ma am kenn ko ko mëna maîtriser sama bordel mu xam fa lay ranger bordel bi non pour mon bordel c'est on n'est pas parfait et puis man, man je me sens bien dans mon bordel. Voilà. <rire> Merci beaucoup. Content d'être toi. Ben man m'a content, man m'a content. Je <laughs> Wow, wow, je vous euh, de remercier déjà si c'est un et puis euh, de nous et puis j'espère que nous allons euh, très bientôt, en tout cas, nous banjoul de faire une show. Tac, 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 Inch'Allah. Bless. Merci. All right, guys, that was Mao's city, but we're right here on top of his terrace. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. شهدي صدري ويسلي أمني وهض الأقد النساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والصلاة على رسوله وعلى آله وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Awa and I'm doing a show called Dawa Talk with Awa Dawa Talk with Awa is inshallah non-judgmental non-biased show about my experiences as a Muslim and how Islam and faith helped me grow.
All right, so as you can see, the whole gap is lit right now. Look at this. Yeah, what I'm talking about is uh, the first thing, the first thing we want Baro to help is to help us is about Nawek, you understand? Yeah, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Sonin Kok, Anwari, Kachiro Bani Magawari, our Kekahoni Kia, Uri Alamo Barawa Gemundere, Jam Dogherdi, Atarina, Nanya Udon, Kishahai, Nanya Keria, Nanya Wase. You can see Westfield, the Gambia is just outrageous right now. Everybody is out here expressing their freedom. And Gambia has decided shirts. I mean, last year this time, I could not stand here and do this with a military behind me. Alma Burwa, this is the day Bundan Har. So you can get a little bit of a So this is the day Bundan Har. So we are very happy. You can get a little bit of a crowd. So you can get a little bit of a crowd. You can get a little bit of a crowd. You can get a little bit of a crowd. Because everybody right here is happy. You know, because well, first of all, we're going to thank ECOWAS, in particular Senegal, because they have done a great job to achieve this noble goal for our country. Tebe si te kontan, ndak lima figis ndik baro, bari na torop mange nyan al wadi kabi, jama ya gafi, yala defanyu jama yala sutanyu, presidi buwes, binga hamne momle intana si de kabi, yan lako palas bijik, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Me baro tentulam ba jaila, me eko was tentulam ba jaila. Gami has decided already. Me decide la nafta kila dami ngake dami ngake auto. So bim be ben se wabunde. Me dua la e, me dua la na dimbale, me dua la makisale. Current, current and water. We we yeah we are suffering. We are suffering with nowhere. You understand? Yala sela de kabi yala sela singholi. Yep ni muna anda mo muna kabena. Yala na fija mayaga. Dah kubah lah. Masuk mana dekan dolar lawan cakap saya kunda baru. Wah, baru semua nit lah. Lilam buku so nyep kontan, nyep gena nih. So from there nyep ni kita ada hapres dan baru pun mi eksibis selfie. Nyu anda mom, nyu bete ban eh. So lo regla mom pulu wasu nyep ni kontan. Thank you bro. Yeah. We are very happy. No stress, no more. You know. Ya ajam eh. We don't need no more ya ajam here. We need baru, baru, baru. We baru. You know. Yeah man. Big up to you guys. Alam ale bangko so kairol. Alam ale bangko so kairol. Alam ni dunia be, dunia be alam ambe so kairol. Alam ambe so kairol bara. Ta hormat. Alam di dunia ro bara ni. Osu seo nyagali o konta ni ke ba kusa maganera ni kambisara. Na jamu chuo kuni ta su golenga golen mo munge mo asura ge mundi fa o nyagali o konta ni Bismillah rahman rahim. Yala tu gubu neka kuto am buse da gui gambe am na tange. Jamu jubari. Lindon hal sentuh si mami, alam ko yang ladef, menyuir aguir. Bedua le ekuasi, mau biar bedua. Siapa saya bulu ke fikir tuan bedua le be? Anim bedua le nada sepana di nol fana, mesti bejana. Bedua le be, anak tu dok hulal fana bedua le. Fana bersih all women country, looking for democracy, looking for good, I mean good governance, and looking for rule of law. Naga lagi sih naga ada nyebang fide. Everyone is here, yeah, all women, youngsters, kids, everyone. Nah, I mean freedom is so sweet. Everybody came out to just welcome the new president. I mean, this is what it's supposed to be like. For 22 years, people have been just oppressed. Now you can see people are with their smartphones, videotaping everything. No, hey, but did you hear they said Jame is on the plane? It's not Baro. Baro nego to plane me there. No. Yeah, I never nego to plane me there. But yeah, I never nego to plane me. Man, go and jump plane me. I bet you Baro never been here. You let me ask you, man. Be like, hey, what I tell you? I mean, it's not butter on the plane, it's Jamie. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's what they said. No way! Yeah. That's not gonna happen. But they're gonna get in your neck with the butter more in your on your plane, be Jamila. Yeah! Then you want to let me. Oh, come on, 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 Democracy is in place, and rule of law is in place, and a good governance is in place. <laughs> so we're live. We'll show you some more footage. We'll um, be out here covering it for everybody that's watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll have some aerial views for you guys. So that's it. Word on the street. Mo Black. Don't forget, log on to BanjoNightLive.com. Also, GETV coming soon. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at BanjoNightLive. And that's it. So, yeah, we out of here.
Have you ever heard of a place called Paradise Estates in Accra? A housing estate brought to you by a leading developer that has made its mark in the Gambia, Senegal, Kenya, India, and now Ghana. A gated community with wide internal paved roads, a water reticulation network, a three-phase electricity distribution system. Paradise Estates comprises of a modern-day clubhouse, a community park, swimming pool, and kids' playground. A place with over 50,000 square meters of land located here in East Legon hill in accra you can find our office at 8 potato avenue near max international east legon with flexible payment plans and minimum deposits paradise awaits you contact us on 0303-967-474 or visit us on www.swamiindiaganalimited.com paradise estate brought to you by swami india international limited in collaboration with global properties innovative property solutions want the best location for a shop, office space, or place of business in general, right? So why haven't you considered Madiba Mall? Madiba Mall is the Gambia's first ultra-modern mall serving over 500 families currently residing in the Taft Broford Gardens, with 22 shops of different sizes, fully air-conditioned, with 24-hour security and a standby generator so your business will never experience a power outage. All of this at an extraordinarily affordable price. At Madiba Mall, we don't just offer storefronts, we offer you luxury, comfort, safety and convenience at a price you can afford. Come see for yourself at Tap Broford Gardens right across from Sheraton Hotel and sign up today to take your business to the next level. Madiba Mall, the Gambia's first ultra-modern mall. Prices as low as $5,000 per month. Brought to you by Taft Gambia Homes. Plaster Inn Cafe, located in Brucebe. Your number one spot for hot wings in the Gambia. Deliveries free for 500 and above orders in Brucebe. Plaster Inn Cafe, located in Brucebe, right next to GT Bank. Call 306-1077 or visit our website, plasterinc.com. This is still BNL, and we just came from watching Word on the Streets. Yeah. So, so you know, like, everybody know what the Word on the Street is. It no, like, was like, no, no. lit. Like everybody had something to say. Everybody was just jumping. It was crazy. It was such an exciting time in Gambia. People were like, huh? What are they talking about? Why all the excitement, though? Yeah, we, Why were, we, so excited? we were excited because we, our president was coming. Our new president was coming back. We have it to was. Hold. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new, you know. I mean, this life. I actually stuff goes on. talking about, yeah, yeah, Jamie. Yes, you heard me. Yeah, yeah, Jamie. This is the first time I'm actually doing this. Say it, it feels good. Nah, yeah, 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 I, I, don't talk, I don't talk about old stuff. I move on. <laughs> well, uh, people went out in their numbers. I mean, everybody was just absolutely ecstatic. Out of out control. There. Going crazy as you yeah. saw on the word on the street. Me too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but then I have to say um, sorry to all the Waidaula queen because <laughs> they all ran away to Senegal to hey. seek re uh, refuge. But you know, hey, we were right here. We didn't go anywhere. I would have done the same. I was this close. No, you wouldn't have. Because stuff was getting quite, no, quite intense. Wouldn't. No, you wouldn't have. We're here now. We stay here and we cover it and we show it to y'all. That's what we did. Yes, but I'm really glad everything is back to normal. Businesses are back. Because the whole country was at a stop for a while. That's so true. everything is back to normal. Everything is just chilly. Everything, everything is, is Gucci. Everything is, you know. So we're, we're back. We're, we're really leaving. back. Yeah. And congratulations to President Adam Abara. And I'm just, you know, telling you that we're 100% behind you. But please, please have our back too. All right, what else are we going to go check out? We're going to go check out some of the events. We'll be back, right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in Brucebee. Plaster Inn Cafe located in Brucebee right next to GT Bank. Call 306-1077 or visit our website plasterinc.com. guys we're at that point of the show where we have reached the end of the show unfortunately but i hope you enjoyed every single minute of it just reminding you if you missed any of our episode www.banjonightlive.com you can also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter at banjo night live giving huge thank yous to our sponsors global properties um, Taf Africa Homes or Taf Gambia Homes, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, Plaza Inn Cafe. Yep. Bigging up the whole BNL team. All our fans out there, thank you for like you know just just bearing with us, you know, while we were like away. But now we're back in full effect. My girl Mariama, do your part. Well, we'd like to say thank you for staying with us. You know, as usual, if you want to catch up with us, the link she gave. That's where you gotta be at. So until we see you again. We love you and we missed you so much, but we'll be back next week. And so. we do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. And until we meet again, mwah. bye. Good night, guys. Sisters in the crew, Benjo, Benjo.
Your hat and can meet you. Your hair is thumping on your feet. Bring out the family. That was also like I'm like, bumbara slap. If I talk about the moon, no, 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 no